What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the AndroidAppsReview.com. Today we're looking at a uh, pretty unique application, one of our favorites that we've looked at recently. It's called Mouse Kit, and it's available in the Google Play Store for free with an in-app purchase, available to unlock more content, including themes and a few other things. Uh, we'll show you that in just a minute. But um, if you can see what I'm doing now, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I am actively controlling the MacBook, but if you'll notice, uh, you know there are no fingers involved. There's my fingers, and uh, I'm moving the mouse. How am I doing that? Well, through the handy-dandy magic that is Mouse Kit. I have it right here. And basically, it turns your phone into a mouse, among other things. We'll talk about that in just a second. But the core concept is pretty simple. So here's the MacBook that I'm running. This does work on PC as well. Um, you can do scrolling, so I can do some scrolling action here. Um, you can click on things, you can move the mouse around, etc, etc. So to click, you can just click, and then it will move things. I actually don't want to do this. So look, I can close it. It's that simple. It really does work like a mouse. And it's actually pretty cool. Um, I, you know, at first thought, I wouldn't think that I would need an additional mouse in addition to my trackpad. Uh, we'll talk about instances where this would be very useful uh, in just a second. But, uh, you know, just from sheer cool factor, it is in fact pretty cool And we're looking at a uh, accounting service called Zero right now. This is just a uh, site that I happen to pull up. I think it was an advertisement on the uh, mouse kit page itself, and that's why we're here. Anyway, so this is not an official re uh, recommendation for this. This is just a page that I pulled up. I can just as easily do Google. In fact, let's do that. Um, so to accomplish that, uh, to show off some of the features that we have here, I want to click on this. And then let's say I want to type. I can go to keyboard, and then this pops up. So I can start typing Google. I want to select the next option, so I can just click. And then it go, and then it will go. And now we're at Google. So one of the clear reasons you might want to do this, um, as you might could tell, um, is that uh, let's say you're giving a presentation, which is something that uh, I actually do pretty frequently uh, You know, during the day job. I, I you know, have to give presentations with the computer pretty often, usually projected onto a screen, um, which means that I am often doing something like this, where I want to show someone something, but I might be standing, I might be across the room, whatever. Um, I need to do these sorts of things. So, with that in mind, having this kind of utility, something that I can very slightly have at my side, where I can tap things, um, I can, you know, type in whatever I need to type in, it's pretty handy, um, and especially made more so because of this, which is the presenter mode. Um, so, on that note, let me go back, because uh, this has a handy-dandy um, example to show you. Uh, but, uh, essentially, and again, this would work better with... Um, a presentation, but essentially you've got a different set of commands that just make it easier to do the things that you need to do. There's a home button, an F5, a slideshow, and an end. So essentially you could boot up a PowerPoint presentation and then in a matter of seconds be controlling it. So this is a website obviously, but it's clicking through to the next, to the next sections just by hitting next and previous. Same thing goes for you can click, um, you can use the mouse if you need to. Um, it's all very intuitively laid out. The mouse section is along the top, so I can you know click around if I need to tap, tap, increase the synergy, get it now, increased revenue, blah blah blah. Um, <laughs> I actually do say a lot of that stuff, a lot of that stuff in my day job. So uh, you know it's funny, but it's also true. Um, clicking through very very simple, and then of course naturally clicking also very simple. Just click like that. We'll click something so you can see it actually click. Um, and then uh, additionally you've got other features that you might want like the F5, uh, you know, the home button and the slideshow button actually go into a slideshow, etc, etc. So again, pretty intuitive and extremely useful, especially if you give presentations often. Uh, it's a very handy way to do these things. Um, this is easily one of the most important features of Mouse Kit, and uh, obviously it's worth the value. It's $2.50 to unlock this feature, but we think it's well worth it, especially if uh, you're in the habit of giving, giving presentations. One of the cooler features, too, is that it keeps an active timer of how long you've been somewhere, which is very useful if you're trying to keep things under a certain time limit. And uh, usually when you give that kind of presentation, you know, I need 30 seconds per slide or whatever uh, that's involved. So, and again, if you need to at any moment, you can pop over to the mouse uh, or the keyboard function, etc. And let's just kind of dive in more into the app for just a second. Um, so on that note, I'm going to dim the MacBook down to a bare minimum. Let's just kind of poke around here for a second. So we've got the mouse uh, to just change modes. You simply tap the button at the top. You've got a control as well. And then uh, additionally, we have some uh, other features here. You can adjust mouse sensitivity. I will admit that when we first booted this up, there was some lag that you have to be connected between Wi-Fi, uh, the uh, 
computer of choice and the device have to be connected on the same Wi-Fi network. Not a big problem if you're giving a presentation. Obviously, you're going to want to be aware of that. It can be kind of a headache to set that kind of stuff up sometimes, but uh, do it ahead of time. You'll be fine. Mouse sensitivity uh, is very handy. Obviously, you can change that. Uh, it was a little too fidgety when we first got it. We sat down at about three or two. It was totally fine after that. You can also reverse it if you're a Mac user and you're used to scrolling the opposite direction, like me. Keyboard, you've got a, uh, excuse me, a couple of other options involved here. You can add more. You can simplify. Theme, uh, you can't change the theme. We're in pastel, mint gray. You can also go for slate gray, modernity, chic white, etc., however you want to do it. Um, I think I'm actually going to go back to the mint green because I liked it more. And, uh, of course, you've got store info as well. So all in all, it's good stuff, um, and you know, just on based on coolness factor alone, it is one of our uh, favorite new apps. Let me increase the brightness here, uh, just because it's fun. I mean, this is something that I never thought I would do uh, necessarily, though it makes a lot of sense that it is here and it works, uh, especially because of the presentation features that are involved here. This could be very handy for someone that needs to do this kind of on the sly. Uh, and wants to give smoother presentations, or if you just want to mess with your computer from afar, this is a good way to do it. Or even if you just want it as a handy utility for uh, you know general coffee shop purposes, I'm sure there are you know, going to be a couple times you might be sitting around. This might be pretty useful. Um, keyboard is also a very handy and uh, innovative feature. I would not have thought to have done that, but it does make life infinitely easier as far as using the application. So all in all, it's a very well-rounded app. It looks great. It works well. Uh, the price tag is appropriate, $2.50 to unlock all the premium features. It's well worth your time, especially if you use it a lot. And uh, with the ease of use and uh, ease of installation on both the phone and the uh, you know computer of choice, it's it's really hard not to recommend it. So we're going to. Mousekit gets a solid recommendation from us as well as a 5 out of 5 star rating. We really like it and we think it's a brilliant utility for anyone that is in need of such an item. That's all I have to say about it. So at this point I'm going to go ahead and sign out, but I have been Luke Patrick and you guys have been wonderful. So again, it's a 5 out of 5 for Mousekit and a solid recommendation to go ahead and go ahead and try it out. It is free in the Play Store and you can buy the premium features if you desire it. Thanks, and that's all I have to say. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Bye, guys.